60 minutes overtime. Yep. Holy. As a doctor, what are you thinking about when these explosions are going off? I honestly thought that I was going to come back once the attack was over and see just mass casualties across the base. And what did you find? Probably the best moment of 2020. Um, the smiling faces of everyone in that building. This week on 60 Minutes, our story is about the ballistic missile attack Iran launched on Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq last year in retaliation for an American drone strike that killed Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. We were given warning. Army Major Robert Hales was the highest ranking medical doctor at Al-Assad during the attack. Did you think all those uh, smiley faces meant everybody was all right? I think in that moment, we were just thankful that no one was injured or died, as in physically injured from debris. No American blood had been shed, but within hours it became clear scores of troops had suffered traumatic brain injuries Holy from concussions caused by the blasts. I, I'd lost my hearing. Uh, I had, my left eye wasn't really working all that great. Uh, everybody had suffered some level of traumatic brain injury from this. More than 100 servicemen and women stationed at Al-Assad were diagnosed with TBI, including Army Major Alan Johnson, who was awarded a Purple Heart. All of these soldiers, 127, 130 of them, uh, their main focus was to literally get the mission back up and running, which masked a lot of their TBI symptoms. Our symptoms were insignificant to what we'd experienced all night long. You know, I'll take some Advil, I'll rehydrate and, and this headache will go away. My nausea will go away. I'll try to eat some food, it'll go away. They just, those symptoms just kept getting worse. What does a blast like that do to the human body? We do not know a lot in science. Um, we know that in animal models, there's damage to the brain. Um, but there hasn't been a lot of studies with these, this level of percussion wave with the overpressure and the negative pressure that immediately follows being exposed to this over and over again. Just because this missile attack was so unique, it never has happened in history that a ground force was exposed to 11 theater ballistic missiles. I'm still um, getting treated. I'm, I'm going in and following that up. I have a headache still. They come back. It's a thing called uh, post-concussion -con syndrome. Sergeant Kimo Kelts was manning a guard post when warheads weighing more than 1,000 pounds started raining down. I was still in the fight, so my, my mind was uh, ready to go at any time. And as we left, uh, knowing that I was coming back home to be safe, I was going to be safe, uh, that's when uh, you know my guard let down. and. Once I was here, it all hit me at once. It came back. So what did the doctors tell you? Are you going to live with these headaches for the rest of your life? They don't know. As far as uh, my knowledge, it's the first time that uh, they can really research it because of the event.